I shall. <laughs> We're back at the Bronx Open here with the number one seed in qualifying, Jill Teichman, who today won a won her final qualifying round match to get into the main draw in almost three hours over 10th seed Laura Siegerman. So, Jill, first of all, congratulations on the victory. That match had everything. You lost the first set, six love. Yeah. You came back and won the second and third sets in tie breaks. The conditions were cool, cloudy, then it was hot. You also took a what seemed like a nasty fall. First of all, are you okay? <laughs> And yeah, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. Uh, it was a tough match. Uh, as you said, they had a bit of everything, up and downs. And I think the heat made it difficult as well for both of us. So it was as well like a mental and physically match. When you lose the first set six love like that, do you tell yourself, you know you can play better, but do you tell yourself, if I just get one game, that may change everything. What, what, do you, what goes through your mind when you lose a first set six love like that and you you know you have to try obviously come back and win the next two sets yeah well i mean i'm, I'm young but still i've been playing a few years tennis already so i know that the, the match is very long it's never over to the last point so i was just looking for getting into my rhythm and finding better my my game and she played the first set very good i didn't so i knew that if i come up a little bit with my game it's gonna change everything and uh yeah I succeed with that as well. The success you've had earlier this year, winning in Palermo and winning in Prague, do you think that helped you in the big moments and the tight moments when it was close? Because she's a veteran, she's been out there for a long time, and like you said, you're pretty young, you're just getting used to the tennis at this level. Do you think those tournament wins helped you in, in the big moments today? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, those matches, they gave me confidence. Uh, I turned a lot, around a lot of matches, so I knew I, I could do it again, and yeah, I did. So what are you going to do with the rest of your time between now? You're going to obviously wait to see who you play. What are you going to do with the rest of your time until you find out who you play and when you play them? Honestly, just eat and sleep. That's all I'm going to do. I woke up at 6 in the morning for the yeah. last three days, so I'm really looking forward to nap. It seemed like she was coming to net a, a little more than she usually does. She was trying to be aggressive. How did you counter that? Yeah, I, I saw she was coming more to net, so I tried to play it into her feet and that uh, made a difficult ball for mm -hmm. hers. And yeah, I did pretty fine. And I, I, when I see that she's trying to change her game, I know she's struggling, so I was doing the, the right thing. That was Jill Teichman, the number one seed in qualifying, who is now into the main draw here at the inaugural Bronx Open. Thank you, Jill, and good luck.